Namaste my dear friends, welcome to Source and Chakra and welcome to your reading today. This reading is for those of you who have left part 1. So we're going to take a look at what's happening in October with Tarot. As well as look at the energy of the houses, the planets and the signs. And get a message for love and romance from the romance angels. And a final message from your spirit guides and your ancestors. So before I start with the reading, just want to remind you guys that if you like this video, to please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'll be so grateful for your support. Okay. Also, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody, but there might be a message in there some way that's meant to find you today. So, I'll see you at your reading. With the Seven of Swords here, I feel like some of you have been feeling very constrained, confined, uh, you know, restricted, but it's all in your head. You know, there's something that you've been overthinking and you just feel like uh, you cannot see a way out of this, like you're powerless here, okay? So I feel like something might have happened that you feel that you cannot make any decisions. And I'm also getting that uh, you are isolated, like physically as well, you know, you have to cut up, that you've cut yourself off from the rest of the world. Like sitting in isolation in your own thoughts, you know, paralyzed by your own doubts and fears. Yeah, this is the card of uh, paralysis by analysis. Okay? And the Five of Swords tells me that like, there is a person around you, or you've been thinking about this person who, who you feel that you cannot trust, you know, they have been deceiving you. And maybe that's what you, that's what's making you feel helpless and powerless. Okay? But then we have the Knight of Wands and this tells me like you're either going to be traveling somewhere or you're going to be moving houses or changing jobs but whatever it is you know there is a new development that's going to happen soon in your life because we have the five of swords as well so there is a change coming soon that you're not expecting okay and for some of you this could also mean that there is a person who who wants to reach out to you all right this person could have fire in the chart Leo Sagittarius Aries but they they live somewhere far like at a distance But whoever is this person there, you'll soon be, I think, getting a message from this person. Let's see. The High Priestess. Okay.
so what i'm getting here is like you have certain hidden uh, knowledge or even secrets about about something or a person you know that's what's keeping you bound and unable to make a decision or find a solution to this problem that you have you're unable to get out of the situation some of you guys feel this intuitively you guys could be clairvoyants and psychics as well no, but you've been holding this knowledge the secret for a long time okay I feel like this has got to do with this uh, person whoever is this that you've been thinking about a person who broke your trust a person who who will have hidden motives all right so let's clarify this five of swords here okay the six of cups hmm all right i feel like you yeah you know this person because six of cups is something like you know you have this um memories about this person and it's not necessarily good memories you know you've known this person for a long time this is this is a person from your past you know maybe you grew up in the same place or you knew them since childhood or whoever they are you know you have a history with this person and then you've been thinking a lot about this uh, this person that's why you are in this eight of swords situation But I'm also feeling like this is your thoughts, you know, your ideas, your fears and doubts about this person. They might not have been nice to you. They might have uh, cheated, done something unsavory, but you still are stuck. You know, you're still, you're still thinking about this person. Okay. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands here. Let's see. Okay, the Page of Wands. Yes, like I said, you know, there is a person coming towards you. You know, they want to reach out to you, and they live at a distance, maybe overseas or in a different city. Yeah, but I feel like this person is the person from your past hmm. so you might be getting a message from this person very soon in October because the ones is a very fast uh, energy so some of you guys will be hearing from this person whoever this person is but this person has uh, strong memories of you you know they feel nostalgic about the past they had with you okay so i'm getting like you guys are still stuck in the past thinking about this person you know and this person also wants to come towards you they they have strong desire and passion for you all right but what i'm getting here is that this person could 
have been a player you know they they were not really serious about you with the five of uh, swords here that's what I'm getting they played with your feelings right but coming October you know this person is feeling like they want to make an offer they want to they want to talk yeah because they have strong desire and passion they still feels very strongly for you Okay, just one more all right the two of Pentacles this is gonna put you in a spot here though you're gonna have to make a decision it could also mean that you have other commitments you know job commitments work commitments family commitments and this person coming along could uh, make an offer and that you're not going to know what to do with it you know should you should you not that's something that you're gonna have to decide okay all right so I'm just gonna get a final outcome and advice the yeah. ace of swords so that's it there's going to be communication coming through you're going to find what they really want from you you know you will have to make it clear with them about what it is that you want or what are the true intentions you know this is a time that to clear the air to bring clarity to the situation okay eight of swords yes so what i feel is like you should not hesitate to put boundaries but at the same time you know put your feelings across tell them what you exactly think that you need and you want and not repeat the past I feel like communication is very important for you in October in order to come up with a decision all right and this is something that you're gonna struggle with because on one hand you have trust issues with this person and on the other hand you cannot want this person you don't know what to do But this is why you got the Ace of Swords. You know, the communication is very important. But this is the time you need to ask the hard questions. Okay? Clear the air. Because what I'm getting here is that even if this person has was not the best in the past but there are some things that you have over analyzed that you overthought the situation you overthought what happened between you and this person in the past to the point that you felt uh, unable to move on But I'm also getting that these fears and doubts are mostly in your head. You know, that is why in October when this person, whoever is this person, you know, they're coming to offer you something to talk. You know, this is a opportunity for you to bring things to light. OK, 
okay so let's see what are the energy of the houses and the planets and the signs that will be influencing you in October Saturn, the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain wisdom. The third house, your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. And Libra, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So in October, your third house is in focus and this is an area of higher learning, education. Okay? So some of you might be wanting to go back to school or take up a new course or training. So whatever it is that you want to do, you know, to, to add to your skills or to freshen up your existing skills, this is a great time for you to do so. All right this is the house of learning so this is a great time to invest in your education okay because you have Saturn as well as influencing your third house and Saturn is a planet of uh, discipline hard work this means that if you are focused and you put your time and effort into improving yourself, into your goals, into your education, you know, the Saturn energy is going to help you reap the rewards of it in the future. Because Saturn always rewards hard work and patience. But on the other hand, you know, if you procrastinate or if you just go off the rails and you don't put in the, and you're not disciplined in life, also Saturn will ensure that, you know, you learn from your mistakes and they will, and it will put you in situations and bring challenges for you until you uh, master this challenge okay Saturn can make you feel restricted and limited but you know if you use this time constructively and focus on your goals that you'll be rewarded in the long run okay and if you have been disciplined and worked hard this is the time when Saturn will reward you for your past efforts but in the past uh, if you have neglected your work your education yourself you know then Saturn will make sure by putting challenges in front of you because Saturn is a hard taskmaster and you're also going to be feeling the influence of Saturn in Libra. And Libra is a sign of partnerships, of balance and harmony. So it, all, it could also mean that, you know, since Libra uh, signifies justice and balance, this is a time where you'll be faced with a situation where you're going to be weighing the pros and cons to a point where decision making becomes very difficult for you that you'll be unable to decide make a concrete decision and this has to do with Saturn the old man Saturn you know who is very pragmatic and cautious as well 
so just be mindful that you don't overthink you know you don't spend a lot of your effort into deciding when uh, when this opportunity arises because like i said before you know this person who's coming into your life from your past you know they might want something from you they might want to talk you know make a a new offer a certain commitment but you're going to have to decide you know is it on their terms or is it on equal terms because your sense of justice and uh, balance is highlighted all right you might also show that you don't need anybody and you're fine on your own but actually you feel lonely in that role on the positive side it's good that you are cautious and pragmatic before you make a certain commitment but on the negative side you know don't let the restrictive nature of saturn influence your judgment okay because you're going to be having to make a decision and you might be dragging your feet a little too much during this time so let's see what is the advice from your angels regarding love and romance Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, this is the message from your angels to trust, you know, to have faith in the situation. So I'm getting this is about whoever is coming towards you, the person that from your past. Uh, the the angels and the spirit guides are saying to keep an open mind as well. To keep your lines of communications open you know talk things talk things through okay because somebody is wearing a mask hiding their true feelings and i feel my viewers this is you because you have been hurt in the past you have been wronged in the past and you're gonna show that you don't care you know you don't have any feelings that you're fine on your own but actually deep down you do care okay so in October you know there's an opportunity for you to have an open dialogue with this person to tell to tell them exactly how you feel, what you think, what are your boundaries, you know, the things that you will not tolerate. Okay? Don't hide your feelings, let them know the good and the bad. Alright? And then see what they have to say, you know? Keep an open mind, but also trust in the situation. What I'm getting here is that you feel that 
this is not the person for you but you know your angels are saying like the soulmate differs from your usual type and expectations that although you don't want to accept this person as uh, as your soulmate but I feel like deep down you do still have some feelings for this person okay unconsciously I guess Okay, so let's get the final message from your ancestors and his spirit guides. Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother and Earth, Father and Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call on you and welcome you here now. Broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. You see the arrows, they, they are a symbol of uh, protection and defense. Okay? But a broken arrow symbolizes peace. So in ancient uh, Native American traditions, a broken arrow um, meant that people were no longer fighting with each other. You know? So getting this card means like, a time has come for you where you don't need to defend yourself anymore okay the darkness is over and light is entering into your life okay this is a powerful symbol of harmony and peace so let go of the need to defend yourself and offer peace because your angels your spirit guides your ancestors are protecting you you are safe Okay, so whatever is the situation that you are facing or you have faced in the past uh, where there were arguments or disagreements, you know, that's all going to be resolved. All right. Like you are guided to trust the situation that is going to be unfolding for you. Your ancestors, your sacred ones are telling you to, you know, um, in order to move forward, you know, it's important for you to let go of the idea, the fears, the doubts in your mind that this person or the situation might hurt you or will hurt you okay because if you think that way you know you're only going to be stuck where you are you're not going to be able to move forward so the situation is coming for you where you need to trust your instincts as well as you know trust that the universe has your best interest Okay, take off the mask and be vulnerable. Be open to talk and uh, look at the other person's perspective as well. Okay. So whatever is going to happen for you in October, your ancestors want you to know that you are safe, that you are protected. Okay, things are resolving for you. Alright, so prepare to talk things through and offer peace. Don't be too defensive. That's what they want you to know. Okay. So this is all I have for you, Life Path 1. I hope you liked your reading. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope to connect with you soon again. Namaste.